Welcome back to the Student at the Game podcast. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. So check this out. So Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers, the WB, they are in talks and they are up in the stakes on its I Am Legend franchise. And they're looking to add not only not only they're going to bring Will Smith back. All right. They're going to bring Michael B. Jordan. So Will Smith, Michael B. Jordan. Like, wow, that's talk about star power. Like, when you think about that, like, let's take it sports related. You know, to me, like, right now, that would be like a, uh, let me see, that would be like Ja Morant, Ja Morant getting getting the chance to play with Michael Jordan or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm, for a lot of people, Will Smith is not the best actor, or probably not the Michael Jordan actor, but I'm talking about box office. Will Smith is, hey, whether if you like his acting or not, box office. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan of Will Smith. I enjoy most of his movies, you know, so that's going to be pretty good. That's a hell of a combination. But the thing about it is, it's this, man, like, you know, um, I like, I love, I love the I Am Legend franchise, but didn't, didn't Will die at the, didn't he die at the end? Um, um, well, we didn't, or let me see, I'm trying to think. We didn't get to see his body die where he loses all his breath and his heart stopped beating. Boom, 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 boom. But, you know, um, I'm trying to think because there's a director's cut ending too that was different. And the director's cut, the director's cut, I don't think he died. But I guess what it is, um, I don't know. It's, who knows? Maybe something happened where they revitalize his life or something, where they revitalize him or something like that. They, re they resurrect him. But anyways, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. But I'm not going to lie. I did do a little, I'm a little bit bittersweet on this because um, last year I did a video where I said that I would like for Will Smith, you know, we're long overdue for a Hancock sequel, okay, all right, and one of the people that I, who I follow, his name is Eno Har, um, and he had brought that up, he said, hey, you know, we need to get a, uh, a freaking Hancock sequel, and I 100% agree with that, you know, we need to get a Hancock sequel, I got no problem with the I Am Legend, you know, okay, but hey man, let's do a hand do a Hancock sequel cuz that was a good movie, man. Hancock is a very he was a very relatable superhero. He was very very flawed. You know, he wasn't like your your cookie cutter, you know what I'm saying, like how Superman used to be. You know what I'm saying? He had the powers of like Superman, but what was amazing, his weakness was his love for the love of his life. You know, which was Charlize Theron's character. I forgot her name, but the thing about it is this, you know, um Whenever he is close around her, he loses his powers, you know, he becomes more vulnerable. So she's almost like his kryptonite, you know what I'm saying? So that I thought that was a good element to that story. And it's like, let me see, that movie came out in like 2008, 2009. So we're long overdue for a sequel on that. And I understand, Will, he's trying to get the Oscar awards and stuff like that. But man, don't forget about the fans, Will. Don't forget about us, man. You know, we love your movies, you know, and... I'm not going to lie. I thought they waited too long to do a bad boy sequel. I'm always going to watch those movies because I'm a Will Smith fan and a Martin Lawrence fan. Here's what you got to understand. Growing up, growing up like in the, in the 90s and stuff, the thing about it is once Will Smith and Martin Lawrence became popular, guess what? I didn't get teased as much with the big ears. You can't really tell right now because my head, you know, caught up with my ears, but my ears used to stick out like two car windows going down the street for real. So that right there made that, that cut all the teasing because people were like, oh man, hey, you remind me of Will Smith. You remind me of Fresh Prince. You remind me of Martin Lawrence. What's up? And I'm like, okay, okay, cool. You know, thank you. So those two guys are there like, they're like celebrity role models to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know them personally, but it's like, I feel like I relate to them a little bit. Well, years but anyways um this would be a good movie you know you got those two in it you can't go wrong you know um but i wonder how they're gonna do that like is michael b jordan gonna be a villain or is will smith gonna be a villain like i can't really think of a movie where will smith was a villain you know what i'm saying but i don't know i mean I, I, well suicide squad he was a villain but was he really he didn't seem like a villain in suicide squad he did not you know and anytime you got a villain in the movie got to keep on saying we're the bad guys he said it must it felt like he said that like 20 times in that movie when well, you got to keep telling yourself and telling the audience and everybody else in the movie that you're the bad guy you're probably not the bad guy okay you know what i'm saying but anyways um i'm down for it i'm down for it of course i'm gonna watch it 
you know, it's not like I'm going to boycott this movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to check it out. And hopefully it's great and phenomenal. And it'll lead to other sequels to the I Am Legend franchise because it's a lot of... You can you can do a whole lot of stuff with that. I mean, you can go you can do go the prequel route if you want to, you know? So I'm I'm looking forward to checking it out, but man, also we need to get a Hancock sequel too, Will. We need to get a Hancock sequel. I mean, you can do a Hancock sequel and you can add Michael B. Jordan in that too, you know? But um anyway, share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what do you think about um a I Am Legend sequel starring Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan. Share your thoughts in the comment section below and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for tuning in. Student of the Game podcast. Peace out.